Hello, Effie and Joel. Uh, Effie, these are the parts that we're going to need to um, that uh, Joel is requesting, and I believe is going to need for adapting uh, the Solexes to uh, where the Webers used to be. And I'm going to go over this and uh, give you an idea why uh, all these parts are necessary. Now then, um, <clears throat> obviously these are the uh, gaskets that mount the uh, Solexes and/or the Webers to the uh, intake manifold. Uh, you always need to replace these with new factory gaskets. Um, the uh, 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 backup portion of the uh, mounting is this rubber ring right here and inside this ring inside that rubber will go these sleeves and that's how this assembles and uh, you will then also use these wave washers right here and the carburetors are going to mount against here and this wave washer acts like a, a limit stop to keep the um, metal sleeve from digging into the base of the carburetor but also it tells you when to uh, stop tightening the bolts so that the carburetors have the exact right uh, amount of compression and uh, are secured with the right amount of force and torque. Now then uh, the, um, these backup washers here, the metal washers, the black ones are, the black ones go below at the bottom of the um, intake at the rear and the silver ones go on the top and there's a, a diameter a difference in diameter and those are special for the bottom of the uh, intake manifold um, at the same time you're dealing with um, the intake manifold uh, you've uh, Joel indicated these nipples these water nipples are rotten and need to be replaced and that's a common item um, at the same time that you replace these nipples, you're going to redo the, the hoses, and uh, the um, uh, these, these are in fact factory hoses, as you can see with the Mercedes logo, and the clamps are just barely the right size. They change the dimension of the uh, the OD of the hose, and to so that these clamps are very tight to fit on there. What you're going to do is going to get like one thread screwed into uh, one thread of this screw into the clamp and then you're going to use some uh, force and uh, maybe some uh, uh, lubricant to, to assemble everything but they will go together. Now then while you're doing the nipples, in order to do the nipples correctly you have to take apart the intake manifold and when you take apart the intake manifold this is the vacuum tube that goes between the intake manifold halves and you cannot reuse this tube or these aluminum ferrules and the reason is these aluminum ferrules dig into the tube and seal it uh, when you assemble it but they also uh, dig into the tube and distort it so that uh, you cannot reuse all these so you have to put in a new va uh, new steel vacuum tube uh, I, f I forgot to mention along with the uh, nipples we've got all the aluminum rings here and this is the nipple that goes on the uh, thermostat housing and all all four of these are going to be in one line on the intake manifold and again with the seal ring uh, this is the carburetor support rod with all the attaching hardware uh, to support the air log and uh, that would not have uh, that would have been dis uh, would not have been used along with the Webers and the last but not least uh, Joel asked for the vacuum hose that uh, connects the rear of the intake manifold to the brake booster along with clamps and this vacuum hose is wire reinforced so you gotta be careful um, there can be some very sharp stainless steel wire sticking out here. This one's not bad, but just uh, be very careful. Um, I gave you enough wave washers here to be used um, where the carburetors mount to the intake manifold and then where the bolts go through and secure everything and then the wave washers um, at the back end of the bolts here. Um, I gave you too many of these. You don't need these uh, split washers. You're just using the wave washers. So you got 16 of these wave washers. Eight against the rubber and an eight um, uh, against the nut at the end of the, the bolts. And you got two lengths of bolts. The uh, short ones go at the bottom of the intake manifold for the carburetors to the intake and the long ones go at the top. The long ones are because you've got your throttle support bracket on the top
top of the first carburetor and on the second top of the second carburetor you've got the hot choke mechanism and uh, this is a lot easier to make a video than it was for me to take a photograph and try to uh, type and describe all these things um, in an email so that's why you got a video and this FE is what uh, we believe you're going to be needing to properly secure your 190SL Solexes to your car if you have any questions, let me know. I'll, obviously, if you have any of these parts already, like the support rods sitting in your trunk or in your toolbox or something, you know, let us know, and, and I will not send any of the parts that you don't need. Thank you.